You can make it scary, imposing, artsy. Shiny, dull, hard, flexible. You can use old junkyard scraps to create new features or mold entire sculptures all your own. Metal is a medium black artist have created with throughout history. And now it takes center stage at the LA Blacksmith Exhibit showing at the California African American Museum. I'm really trying to explore the multiple ways that artists use metal to tell stories about black life in LA. Blacksmithing with its roots in Africa and Egypt played a huge role not just in the history of world civilization, but in that of the US slave trade. Slaves brought over from Africa often brought their metalworking skills with them. Slaves built much of the US, north and south, and a lot of that expertise came with black people on ships, specifically like gates. If you think about the kind of uh, motifs that are in iron fencing and things like that, a lot of that came from Africa. So far, very powerful, very powerful pieces. Very powerful, it was nice seeing uh, the metal pieces and learning the history behind a lot of the art. Another motif that weaves itself into the exhibit is the idea of found objects. Some of the art comes from scrap yards or junk shops. Other artists feature burnt out scraps found on the street after the Watts Rebellion. For artists to be able to take material from painful times and repurpose those materials into beautiful, uplifting works of art that carry with it the marks of where they came from, I think is magic. I like this one especially because, like I said, it reminds me when I was little, pieces of metal, um, screws, and tool pieces of broken stuff. There are many powerful things about this work, but what I really like is that he has an Afro pick in his hair with the black power symbol on it. And then here in the front, in Hebrew, um, it translates to Rodney King's famous line, can't we just all get along? Work and the value of black labor is another theme important to the artists. There are sewing machines. The history of, of black women working as seamstresses and by gilding a sewing machine makes a commentary about what the value of that labor really was. And there is this, a large stack of the metal tools and objects historically used in black labor, from kitchen pots to sickles and hoes. This piece represents the West African god of metal, Ogun, and he is revered across Western Africa. A lot of the artists in this show that use metal are thinking about resiliency of, of cultural memory and cultural identity. The exhibit is free, and it runs through February 16th.